It's not the hymen. I think I know what the hymen is, but thanks. Okay, hey, well, I mean, you're quite wrong. The students at the school need your help, Otis. I'll deal with the business end of things, and you can do the therapy. You have a gift. It would be irresponsible to waste it. See you on it is. Look, I haven't got all day. Are you in or out? Maeve, wait, wait. I'm in. I did something stupid. Maeve asked me to set up this sex therapy thing to help students with their problems for money, and I agreed. I think I want to hang out with her. I hate parties. Yeah, me too. I think this is a bust. I get my shit and I'm going. I need to ask a favour. Oh, yeah? Oh, what is it? I need to meet me somewhere after school at 6 30. Maeve! Why? Why are we in an abortion clinic? Just leave. Now, let's go. Okay, yes, sorry. Leaving. A little bit of advice, Libby. If you want a happy life, you keep the sweet ones around. You waited? Of course. You okay? No, I'm fine. Maeve and I are work colleagues and we're friends. Yes, yes, friends. Boys and girls can be friends. So I need your help. Me? And I can't keep up. Like, we'll have crazy amazing sex. And then she ignores me for days. Some sexy merry-go-round and I can't get She's not an object! Have you even thought about asking her what she wants or what she likes? Well, what does she like? Female writers? Humor. What do you... I'll take a note of this, it's super helpful. No, no, I'm not! <laughs> okay, but seriously, what's wrong with boyfriend? It's just someone else let you down, isn't it? You really think so? <laughs> you know in rom-coms when the guy finally realises he's in love with a girl? and he turns up with a boombox outside a house, blasting a favourite song, and everyone in the audience swoons. Yeah, that makes me sick. Meg Riley, this is for you. I just find it funny that you only ever want me around when you need something. Why are you on so freakishly long? No, no, just want to to see you. So how long have you known Otis? My dad's been fixing their bathroom. Otis asked me out. But um, just between you and me, he's um, he's like really inexperienced. Don't be surprised if he doesn't seem keen. <laughs> hey. 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 It's a shit show, right? Did you guys see Ola? Oh no. yeah. No. I'm gonna jump! Stop, Liam! Don't! Sometimes, the people we like don't like us back. It hurts. But you can't make people like you. I know what it's like when someone doesn't feel the same way about you. It's someone you can't stop thinking about. But love isn't about grand gestures or the moon and the stars. It's just dumb luck. And sometimes, you meet someone who feels the same way. And then sometimes you're unlucky. You're amazing. That was serious, Maeve. I think this is wrong. 
What's wrong? This is an us. It has to stop. We're really good together. I can't keep doing this anymore, Maeve. It's getting in the way of my life. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Hey, Otis. I gave him 50. And then he gave me the book stuff, and then the song, and then the feminist stuff that you like. He paid you to tell him what I like? I didn't... I tried to not take... This is too much. Do you love me? Did you say you don't? I don't. Maeve, I'm so sorry that I hurt you and betrayed your trust. You saw something in me when no one else did. I was just this invisible guy in the corner, and I thought I liked being that way. Then I met you, and I figured out I'm actually good at something. I hope you can forgive me, and that we can keep doing the clinic together. You're the smartest person I've ever met, and this award is yours. back in business. Have fun with the smart kids. You look great. I don't think I'm ever Otis. Happy birthday. Why didn't you say it was your birthday? Because I hate birthdays. How was the rest of your birthday? Unexpected. I got you something. You got me a five-year diary. Mm -hmm. And I ripped out all your birthday pages so you don't have to celebrate one for another five years. See you later. Just tell him you like him already. Otis? Uh, I think... I think I'm gonna have to punch you in the face if you ever buy me a birthday present again, dickhead. Stunt. Okay. I messed it up with you. There was this moment last time where I thought maybe you liked me. And I liked you back. And then you met Ola. It's really hard seeing you with her every day. Why'd you look angry? Because, Maeve, you can't. I liked you. And now you're saying you felt the same? Yeah, I was, I was confused. I have a girlfriend. I made myself get over you, Maeve, and now everything's fine. Let's go. Okay. This is Ola. She was my girlfriend until she told me I can't see Maeve anymore. I like Maeve. I like Maeve a lot. A lot more than I liked Ola. And then Ola dumped me. But I thought, Probably a good thing, because I just really wanted to be with Maeve. And then I realized Maeve Wiley just likes playing with people's feelings. I think she's probably the most selfish person I've ever met. How do I get you to not be angry at me anymore? I'm not angry, Otis. I'm disappointed. Hey, Maeve. I know you can't answer this right now because uh, I'm watching you on live TV. <laughs> but I wanted you to know how proud of you I am and how unbelievably stupid I've been. You telling me you had feelings for me was, was all I wanted to hear. And I was so caught up in trying to do the right thing. I lost track of what that actually is. It's always been you. 
I love you. We sort of stopped being friends and grew apart. So why aren't we friends anymore? We're just in very different places. Maeve? Yeah? You guys are actually really good at giving out sex advice. Oh, and hey, Otis, I heard about you and Ruby. Don't know how you pulled that off. You and Ruby are a thing. Uh, well, we're not. It was casual. Did you tell us to do this? I needed to end. You can't actually be okay with them being a couple. It's impossible. I'm okay with it. And I think I might like someone else. The night that your mum and Elsie went with the police, that Otis guy came and I didn't tell you. And that he left a message on your phone. I listened to the message and I deleted it. Ruby wanted me to say I loved her, but I didn't feel the same. People deserve your whole heart, Otis. If you can't give them that, it's better they know. It's the kind of thing to do. I know you left me a voicemail. I never got it. Isaac deleted it. What did it say? Hi, Maeve. Hey, Maeve. I'm watching you on TV right now. I know you can't answer this right now because uh, I'm watching you on live TV. <laughs> this has always been you. It's always been you. I love you. We should talk about what happened. Is it okay if we don't tonight? I need to sort my head out. I can tell you are ignoring my texts. I like Isaac. It was never about the clinic. I did the clinic to be close to you. It wasn't just about the money. You look happy. Is that anything to do with Otis? What's this? I want you to go and do that America thing. I've changed my mind. About what? America. When? Now. Wow. How are you? America? Yeah. So this is goodbye? No. No. It's seriously.